Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back. Well, it's about 61 degrees outside. It's about 8.45 in the morning and overcast. Um, have a chance of thunderstorms later on today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get out here on the water and see if I can catch me some donkeys. I got a really busy weekend. I'm actually taking a road trip to go fish at Smith Mountain Lake. I'll talk to you a little bit more about that later, but uh, we're going to film that whole thing. Hopefully get on some fish. There are stripers at that lake too, so maybe I'll catch a couple of those while I'm at it. I'm going to do an event for one of my sponsors, Bob Up the Creek Outfit, uh, Bob Up the Creek Outfitters. I can't talk, and uh, yeah, they're doing a, a grand opening of a new store there, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun. So, I'm gonna film all that, and you guys will get to see it because I'm gonna take you with me. So, right now, we're gonna get out here on the water and see if we can catch us some donkeys. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, the water is 63 degrees. I think I'm gonna chuck this spinnerbait for a second since it's overcast. Um, just kind of mess around with it for a minute. And then uh, I got a shaky head tied on. With a slim shake. I've got a couple Ned rigs tied on. Guggen bait stuff tied on. A little bit of everything. I'm just curious. I might find that big one I lost again. And we are in search of the bass. The elusive, elusive bass. And we found one. <laughs> As I'm talking, boom. First bass of the day. As I'm jibber jabbering, nice little bass right there. All right, first bass of the day. Not a big one, but it's the skunk out of it. Sure do like that. All right, guys. Nice little bass. Nice little bass. Thank you for the fight, buddy. And he's off. Well, guys, I found him right on the grass line. Right where I find a lot of fish in this this body of water. They seem to like these grass lines. Caught several nice ones off of them. And that was awesome. I'll take it. Alright guys, we caught that one. It's the Nedrig Hog Z TRD. Um, I'm using that new little sort of weedless hook that they have. It's kind of a bullet head on it. So you guys can see it. It's a little bullet head. You can run it through. It doesn't get hung up as much as when the whole hook's exposed. But you can't pin these because the rubber's so pliable that when you do that, it won't peel off the hook when the fish bites. But this one's in a, um, what color is this called? This color is called yoga pants, just so you guys know. So there you go. There's one. Not a bad looking little bass. He ain't big, but we'll take him. See you, bud. He's off. Nice. TRD Hog Z. I'm getting the cast I want. There's a fish. <laughs> That's crazy. Messing with the trolling motor again. Got another bass. Well, he's a better one. Come on, bud. Alright, shoot. Here we go. Three for the day. I'll take it. I was getting bite over there. I kept trying to get on him. 
Not toads by no means. But at least we're catching bass, right? Yeah. We'll take him. See you, bud. All right. Three. There's one. Got him. I always knew there'd be one in there. Um, yeah. Alright, he's a better one. He's a fatter one, that's for sure. We're slowly upgrading anyway. <laughs> Ooh. Not a bad looking little little fish. Alright guys, yep, beautiful fish. At least they're looking greener today than they were. They've been pretty pale lately. So let's see you bud. Thanks for the fight. Alright. That's four. Alright guys, well quick quick little update. It's just about 10 o'clock. I've already caught four bass. Um, catching them on the Hog Z, the Ned Rig TRD Hog Z. Um, just throwing my finesse rod. This is my Enigma 7.2 medium fast action with my Enigma, uh, Enigma HPT spinning reel. This is a great combo setup. I love it and I've caught tons of fish on it. So um, definitely pretty cool setup to have. I mean, if you guys want to check it out, go to www.enigma.com and you can find all this stuff. But uh, we're going to get back to fishing, so stay tuned. There's a fish. Oh, that's a good bass. That's a good bass. Come on, bud. Where are you going? Coming back around? Coming back around? Oh, he's under my boat. He's under my boat. Oh, he's right here. Oh. Can't get my net. Not in the way. Oh, I'm gonna lose this fish because I'm digging around with my net. All right, whew, much better fish. All right. <laughs> Told you I always find one in here. Much better fish. Look at that dude. You can heal that. Alright, let's back away. Take him out, guys. Nice bass. Oh, Alright, guys. Thank you for the fight. This one's still got a belly on it. See you, sweetie. Alright. So that one. I was using the Lake Fork Minnow. Um, this is in a darker shad pattern. It's like a black with flake on top and then gray silver, silver on bottom. With a 1 16th ounce jig head. And yeah, bam, there you go. Got us another bass. So, can't complain about that. Seriously? <laughs> oh man, there was a bass right there. I landed in the ground. Oh, look at him. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like landed it on the grass. And there he was. Oh. Come on. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Number six. Like bad cast. Got a fish. <laughs> like landed on the grass, was not trying to land on that grass. And there he was. Number six for the day. All right. Six for the day. You guys go. All right, bud. See ya. Comes a little rain. 
Well guys, it's raining pretty good right now. Having too much fun catching fish though. Got him. <laughs> crappie. Guess we found the crappie again. <laughs> Take him out. Alright, let's throw you in the water. See ya. And hopefully this doesn't stay. This is the spot where I caught all those crappie last time. Really want to find some bass, but you know what? Let's see. Let's play around for a second. Let's see. <laughs> and there's another one. All right. Play around with a couple crappie. <laughs> Little ones, but fun. See you, bud. There must be a whole bunch of them here again. So let's see if we find another one. Yep, we're finding them already. Got that one. <laughs> All right, crappie land, same stump. Same stump. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, bud, see ya. <laughs> I've got to play around with them a little bit. Got to play around with them a little bit. It's actually a better one. Right off that stump. We get a picture of him. He's a lot better one. <laughs> He's a better one. Why you gotta turn your tail and mess up your shot? Alright, man. He's out of here. See ya. Well, guys, it's raining a little bit. But I'm sticking it out. And I see my little stump has a bunch of crappie still on it. So I'm just gonna have some fun catching those guys for a minute. Might as well. They're just as fun to catch. They're all right on the stump.
There's one. He's not a bad one. <laughs> Check him out. See you, bud. You're catching some crappie right now. I don't know. I just I just like catching fish, guys. I, mean, I love targeting bass. But I just love catching fish. If it's tugging my line, I'm cool with it. There's another one. <laughs> All right, dude, chill, 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 chill. Chill out, chill relax. Another little guy, another little guy. See ya. <laughs> and I just had another one. Like literally, with my hook just hanging down. That's so funny. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Where's I'm getting ready to take off? <laughs> little guy. Little guy. Pretty little white crappie, though. Always just got to have some fun with them. It's just... I find a few of them. I always like to try to catch a few. It's just fun. Where are you going? Where are you going? Stay down. We're going around in circles? Oh, he threw the hook. This is just what I was afraid of. Well, guys, I lost that one. That was a pretty decent fish. But the plus side is, is that I really like this bait. Just lost another good fish right there. Damn it. Got that one. <laughs> Stuck him. Lost a bigger one. All right. Little dinkers. Little dinkers, little dinkers. See you, bud. I gotta take a picture of him. Got him. Oh, brought that right over that stump, and there he was. <laughs> All right, right over that log, right where he should have been. Right where he should have been. <laughs> My little guy. But... See ya. Yeah, I just swam it right over the top of that that tree right there, and he came up and hammered it. So. See if we can repeat that action. There's another one. 
two off that stump. All right. <laughs> There's another one right there. A little bass, but you know what? We'll take him. See you, bud. There's one. Oh, he's a chunk. He's a chunk. He's a chunk. Come on. Where you at? Oh, don't, 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 don't. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Much better. Alright guys, nice bass. Thanks for the fight. His tail's all worn out too. Pretty fish though. See ya bud. Alright, he's out of here. Hogsy. Hogsy is my bait for the day. It is definitely getting the job done. I always like coming down here and making a couple casts for all these stumps you're at. I always figure there's a donkey hanging out here somewhere. And I'm going to get it one day. There's one. It's going to wake up on me? Oh, he's a pretty decent one. Oh, and he threw the hook. Damn it. He should have been hooked better than that. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. Just like I thought, there was one hanging out there. All right, guys, little afternoon update. Um, I'm making a run back out of this creek. Um, I lost a really nice one back there. Um, but uh, so far, you know, I've caught a bunch of bass. Um, nothing too huge, but some nice ones. Um, some small ones too, a few crappie. And uh, I've been throwing a lot of different stuff. You know, I've been throwing the bigger Ned Rig. I've been throwing this, the Slim Shake um, on a shaky head. Uh, threw a spinnerbait just a little bit, not a whole lot. I've not tossed a band beetle to the bug. I've been throwing my little, I call them super minnows. Because um, they're the Lake Fork guys and then the other Strike King minnows that I throw. Catch a lot of fish. So that's what I was catching all those crappie on. So, you know, so far it's been a good day. Um, it stayed nice and overcast. It rained a little bit, but it finally backed off. And, you know, it is, now it's about noon. So I got about two more hours to fish. And uh, I'm going to move back out to where the main lake's at. And I'm going to work that bank down there and work on around. And if I end up having a little more time, I might come back down that grass line one more time. We'll see if time allows. The wind's picking up like it always does out here in the afternoon. So, uh. But it's been a good day of fishing, and um, you know the main bait that I've been throwing has been that Ned Rig Hog Z, uh, and I'm throwing it on a 115 15th ounce head as well. I don't know if I told you guys that or not, but um, it's a really great little bait, and um, yeah, I'm just having a good time out here. You know, hopefully I'll stick a few more before the day is over, and yeah, you know it's actually really been a really nice day. So uh, we're gonna get back at it. So stay tuned. Hopefully we catch some more fish. Alright guys, we're going to work down this little grass line here, see if we can find anything.
these little bitty things that have just a few sticks and stuff sticking out of it. I, that's where I pulled a few of those bass out of, so it's always good to cast them things because there may be a fish just hanging out there right by that structure. Just waiting to demolish your bait. Right now I'm just running down this bank line. Looks pretty shallow up there, but I won't throw it there anyway. You'd be surprised oh, how shallow a fish can get, just like that. This is a good one. Oh, this is a good one. Where'd he go? Nope, 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 nope. Stay down, stay down. Stay down. Nope, nope. Stay down. Get my net. Net, 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 Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, no, he missed the net. Oh, he missed the net again. Oh, three times the charm. <laughs> Just like that. Super shallow water. Not a bad bass at all. This up good. All right. Can't complain there, man. Look at that line. This is cool. Good looking fish. Here you guys go. Another nice healthy bass. We'll take that right up in those shallows. All right, guys. Decent bass. Decent bass. Let's let him go. See you, bud. All right. Take that. Water is 67 degrees now. There should be some fish. A good temperature for fish. And there's one. I don't even know what he was. That was crazy. Lost two. Got a friend hanging out there? Maybe. Bummer, bummer, bummer. There's one. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, this is a good one. Bring that one. Oh! The trolling motor cut. Oh. No. Did you cut me off of my trolling motor? Well guys, that guy got under in caught my got my line caught in my trolling motor, and that was the end of that. That was a good fish. I was trying to slowly back out of here so I didn't crash into the trees trying to fight that fish. And he decided to go underneath the trolling motor, which I tried to avoid. And he got there before I could get there, and that was the end of that. You win some, you lose some. There's one. It's a crappie. No, oh, it's not a bad crappie either. All right. He's not a bad crappie. Hey, dude. Let him go. See you, bud. That's a tank. Holy crap. Oh yeah, that's a toad. 
Oh, oh man. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh man. We gotta get out of here. Oh, we gotta get out from the trees. Oh, that's a toad. That's a toad. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on around. Don't you get off. Don't you get off. Wow, where are you? Are we gonna come up? Are you gonna come to me? Oh, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Oh god, don't don't lose him. Don't lose him. Come here, come here. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy. Look at that. That is a toad. Stud. Another stud. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Hammered that. I want to get a picture with that in his mouth. Yeah, look at that. Shoo. Nice fish. Nice fish. Look at that one, guys. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, buddy. One more good look. Beautiful fish. We're going to get her back in the water. Come on, girl. <laughs> All right. Whew. Yeah, buddy. Man, what a nice fish. Wow. Um, again, catching those on the Ned Rig TRD Hog Z. This bad boy right here. And catching some nice fish, man. Just been a good day of fishing. That was a toad. There's one. Rock bass. <laughs> He's a little guy. Man, that's so cool looking. All right, bud. See ya. All right, guys. I hooked into this guy before I got my cameras on, but I got him. Oh, he's turning out to be a pretty decent one. Come on. Come on. Where's he? Where are you going? Where are you going? Yep, he's not a bad one. He's not a bad one. Come here. All right. And <laughs> he fell off right on the boat. Well, we landed him anyway. <laughs> Good job. Come here, bud. Right there. Not a bad fish. Sorry I didn't get the hook set on him, but we at least got the landing of him. All right, guys, a beautiful bass. Look at the colors on him. Gorgeous. We're going to throw him back. See you, bud. Uh, I don't even know how many bass that makes for me today. Got him. He gained some weight. He gained some weight. Where's he going? Ah! Did he get me off on a stick or something? What happened? 
All right, well that does it for me. I am done. What a great day of fishing today. I mean, just had an epic day of fishing. Caught some really nice quality bass out there and just caught tons of bass. Caught a bunch of crappie too. It's always fun to get on a crappie bite. I have a tendency to stop and mess with them for a little while every time I find them because they're just fun to catch. Um, and I enjoy catching them, but yeah, really, really great day. Stuck a lot of nice ones, caught some good size bass. Just a lot of fun. Great day in the water. I think it's up in the 80s now. Um, just turned out to be a beautiful day yeah started raining there pretty hard and i thought i was gonna have to leave but i i stuck it out i've done that a few times before where i just stay with it and um it pays off because you saw i end up catching that really big bass so yeah great so yeah so main bait i was using today was the ned rig trd hog z if you guys haven't checked that out you should they got multiple colors to use it i can't remember what color i was throwing but it's like a molten or that one actually is the blacker color um, I forget what it's called, but um, you can check it out. They have several colors. I usually use the black one and then the molten color one. Those are my two go-to ones, and they work really great. As you can see, caught tons of fish on it. Also, caught that one really big one on that Lake Fork Lures Finesse Minnow, and that's a great bait as well to throw, and I love throwing that thing, and you saw it caught a nice two and a half pound bass, so I can't complain with that. It caught a nice donkey. Um, so yeah, so really, really, really just a great, great, great day on the water. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really had a great day out here fishing. If you guys could do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe button, and hit that ding dong button and all those things you have to do for YouTube. And tomorrow I will be headed to Smith Mountain Lake for the weekend and I'm going to be up there fishing. I'm actually going to a vet for Bob's Up the Creek Outfitters who I'm on Pro Staff for and they're doing a grand opening for their store up there. And then we're going to be fishing Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning up there and hopefully we get on some donkeys up there too. We're going to be fishing out of the kayaks and it's going to be a really great weekend and I'm going to film the whole thing and you guys are going to get to see it. So stay tuned for that video as well. And uh, if you guys haven't done it yet, do yourself a favor, get out there. Get your lines wet and catch some fish.